to the Art Squad. Today, we're gonna be telling some stories with Natalie. And once upon a time... Hi, welcome back. I'm Natalie, and today I have a story about hearing a sound and not being sure what made this sound. But before we start, do you think you could help me with some sounds and some gestures? Yeah? Okay, let's start like this. Can you do this one first? Click. Great, everyone together? Click. Perfect. The second one goes like this. Creak. Can you do that with me? Creak. Great. And the third one goes like this. Clack. Everyone together, ready? Clack. Oh, you got this. Perfect. The story goes like this. Abby had a monster in her closet. She was sure of it. And so Abby did not want to go to bed. And every night she stalled. She would say things like, ah, uh, mom, uh, I'm hungry. Uh, could I have a snack? Or she would say, oh, my, my pajamas are, are itchy. Or she would say, uh, go, could we read another story, please, pretty, please, pretty, please. But sure enough, the time would come when her mother and father would tuck her in and say, good night, Abby. Will you help me say those words? Good night, Abby. And then, are you ready? This is where you come in. The light would go click and the door would go creak and the latch would go clack and the sounds of that monster would always come back. Abby would be so still in her bed she would try not to move because if she moved and the bed went squeak that monster would go Ooh. And if Abby went eek, that monster would go scratch, scratch, scratch. And if Abby went Ooh. that monster would go bang, 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 bang. And Abby would be so scared she would yell, Mom, Dad, there's a monster in my closet. <laughs> And of course, well, her parents came running. And, and when they did, you'll help me, we'll do it backwards. The latch would go clack, and the door would go creak, and the light would go click. And her mother and father would say, Abby, well, well what is going on? Please tell us, what, what is it? And Abby would say, oh, there, 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 there is a monster oh, in my closet. I, I am sure of it. And so they would go to the closet. They would look inside the closet. Was there a monster in that closet? No. So they would say, oh, Abby, it's fine. Go to sleep. Can you say that with me? Go to sleep. And then the light would go click. And the door would go creak. And the latch would go clack. And the sounds of that monster would always come back. Abby would be so still in her bed, she would not move a muscle because if she moved and the bed went squeak, that monster would go what? Ooh. And if Abby went eek, what would that monster do? Scratch, scratch, scratch. And if Abby went, oh, that monster would go bang, 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 bang. And Abby would be so scared she would yell, Mom, Dad, there's a monster in my closet. <laughs> well, of course, again, they would come running. And of course, again, the latch would go clack. And the door would go and the light would go click. And her mother and father would say, Abby, what is going on? Please tell us, what is it? 
And Abby would say, oh, but, 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 but the, 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 there is a monster in my closet. I am sure of it. And again, they went to the closet. They opened up the door. They looked way into the way back of the closet. Was there a monster in that closet? No. So this time they were getting a little bit frustrated. They said, Abby, go to sleep. Will you help me with it? Abby, go to sleep. And then the light would go click and the door would go creak and the latch would go clack. And the sounds of that monster would always come back. Abby would be so still this time, she decided she would not move a single muscle. Can you show me how still you can be? And it's there. She got an idea. Oh, uh, 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 well, maybe grown-ups just don't have eyes for seeing monsters. Maybe she was going to have to solve this herself. So next to her bed, there was a flashlight and she pulled it out and she turned it on with a click. Oh, you got it. And then she got out of bed. And as she got out of the bed, the bed went squeak. And the monster went, oh. And Abby went towards the closet, but the floorboards went creak. And what did that monster do? Scratch, scratch. And before Abby could lose her courage, she shone that flashlight, she grabbed that doorknob, she flung the door open and there were 10, 10 monsters. Abby screamed, dropped the flashlight, closed the door, went running back into her bed. And when she looked, was there a monster coming out of the closet? No, but what came out instead was this. piece of paper. A piece of paper landed in the light of the flashlight. And do you know what was on that piece of paper? It was a picture of a monster. Abby took a look and said, well, how on earth does a picture of a monster make all that sound? So she went to find out. She grabbed that flashlight. She went towards the closet, and as she got close, the floorboard went creak. And what did that monster do? Ooh. <gasps> but this time, it sounded different. It didn't sound so much like a scary ooh. It actually sounded more like a scared ooh. How would you say ooh if you were frightened? Yeah, it sounded more like that. So Abby thought, well, wait a minute, whatever is in there might be more afraid than I am. So she grabbed that flashlight. She went towards the closet. She grabbed that closet door. She flung the door open. She shone the flashlight. There were 10 pictures of monsters. There was a picture of a monster with a long, hairy nose and long, hairy claws. And there was a picture of a monster with a tiny little scrunched up face and a tiny little scrunched up nose. And that's when Abby heard the sound, scratch, scratch, scratch. But were there claw marks on the closet door? No. Abby was soon to find out that this was actually the sound of a pencil, scratch, 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 drawing on a piece of paper. And when Abby looked into the way, way back of her closet, she saw two little pointy blue ears and two little pointy blue knees and two little pointy blue feet. And that's when she met Obli, the monster that did live in her closet, Obli, 
was so afraid of humans that when he was frightened, he drew pictures of everyone he knew to make him feel better. You know that picture of the monster with the long, hairy nose? Well, that was his Uncle Egbert. And the monster with the tiny little scrunched up face? That was his cousin Eduardo. Well, Abby saw how frightened Obli was. He was shaking so hard his little foot went bang, 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 bang against the closet. You remember that sound, right? Well, Abby saw how afraid he was, so she went to her desk and she pulled out a sketchbook and a piece of paper oh, uh, and a pencil and she sat down next to Obli and she started drawing pictures of everyone she knew. Scratch, 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 scratch. She drew her mother. Scratch, 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 scratch. Her father. Scratch, 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 scratch. Her Aunt Isabel, her cousin Marie, and her uncle, Bob. Well, from that day on, <laughs> Abby and Obli were the best of friends. And whenever it was time to go to bed, well, Abby would say things like, Oh, I'm really tired. I think I'll just go to bed early. <laughs> or she would say, uh, well, you know, I brushed my teeth. Uh, I did my homework. Uh, I don't feel like a story tonight. Good night. <laughs> because Abby knew that as soon as her mother and father would tuck her into bed and say, good night, Abby. Will you say that with me? Good night, Abby. Well, then the light would go click and the door would go creak and the latch would go clack. And the sounds of Abby with her now new best friend, Obli, would always come back. Oh, wow, bravo. Did you help with the sounds? Did, did the sounds make your imagination go? Isn't that the way it is when you hear a sound? You can get a picture and sometimes you can get a whole story going in your head about what made that sound. Maybe you can practice that this week. Maybe you can hear the, the neighbor using his lawnmower and maybe make a, an, a, a, an imaginary story about it. Maybe it's not the, the neighbor at all, but maybe it's a, a giant and maybe he's uh, rolling a big old tree trunk. Or maybe you hear the, the fridge making a creaking sound and you think, oh, well, it's because there's fairies in there and they're fixing their, their fairy helicopter, of course. <laughs> How about you try that this week? The imagination is full of possibilities. How about that? Sounds good? All right, see you next week. Bye for now. Do you want to join the Art Squad? Be sure to follow and subscribe so you can see what the squad leaders have for you next.